Welcome back. So today I'm going to discuss the wrist turn and help distinguish the, uh, this technical approach from the others that, for instance, rely on what is sometimes referred to as the free stroke so that you are depending on the rebound of the surface to provide the force to bring the stick up. So what happens is, as you play that way, and remember there are no right or wrong ways to play. There are more efficient ways to play. And so what happens is you uh, feel the stick rebound from the surface and come up for free is that you end up applying force only on the way down. That's not what we're doing in, in this way of play. We're actually establishing what is called the floor. It's a starting position. It's a half an inch bead to butt in from the playing surface. And we are responsible for providing the force to bring the stick up. I think this is why Buddy Rich wrote that article with Henry Adler that, that promoted the idea of playing on a pillow. And it really helps to establish the feeling of being responsible for bringing the sticks up. We're applying force. Muscles that don't push but can only pull are pulling from, I believe, in front of the elbow that control the wrist on the way up. And then the muscles in front of the elbow underneath are pulling on the way down. And so what happens is we actually feel both sides of the wrist turn. I feel force being applied up and down. There's just a moment, a, the briefest moment in time, the length of a, a, a butterfly's wing. And we simply feel the lifting of the stick each time we turn. Almost seems to be some kind of equilibrium that's formed. So that I begin to feel the stick almost in two places at the same time. So we developed this very straight up and down trajectory. It provides us the opportunity to start to be able to move up and down as we're turning our wrists. We'll save that for next time. And it, it makes playing much easier. That efficiency equates very directly to relaxation. I hope this helped. Please visit KevinCrab.com. Talk to you more next time. Thank you.